Hello everyone, this is an introduction to nuclear physics. Nuclear physics is basically a branch of physics which is dedicated to the studies of atomic nuclei, their constituents which are held together by the strong nuclear forces. The nuclear energies involved are roughly 10 to the power 6 times a million times larger than the typical atomic energies. The nuclear physics also studies the interaction among the nucleons and the radiation from the unstable nuclei. Quantum physics is needed to understand the nuclear structure. As as far as the history of nuclear physics is concerned, the development of nuclear physics as a discipline started with the discovery of radioactivity in uranium salts in 1896 by Henry Becquerel. The discovery of electron in 1897 by J.J. Thomson indicates that atoms had internal structure. J.J. Thomson gave plum pudding model which proposed that the negatively charged electrons are embedded inside the uniformly charged positive atom. The radioactivity was extensively studied by Marie Curie, Pere Curie and Rutherford. In 1903, Nobel Prize for Physics was shared by Becquerel for his discovery of radioactivity in uranium salt with Mary and Pere Curie for their subsequent work in radioactivity. Three types of radiations emanating from the atoms had been discovered. They are alpha, beta and gamma radiation. The idea of mass energy equivalence was given by Albert Einstein in 1905. Nobel Prize in Chemistry was given to Rutherford for his discovery of radioactivity in uranium salts. Geiger and Marsden under the supervision of Rutherford performed many experiments which involved the passage of alpha particles through air, aluminium and gold foils. One out of every 8000 alpha particles scattered through an angle which is greater than 90 degree or in some cases it was back scattered. According to the plum pudding model, the alpha particles would have gone through the gold foil with their trajectories being approximately the same or at most slightly bent. Rutherford's study of this data in 1911 led to the atomic theory of Rutherford. According to Rutherford's atomic model, nucleus consists of positively charged particles with equal number of embedded electrons to balance out the charges. In 1920, Arthur Eddington proposed that the source of energy in stars was the fusion of hydrogen into helium. Involving large amount of energy which is given by E is equal to mc square. Around 1925, the spins of proton and electrons were measured and found to be half h cross. These are the up electron and down electron spin representation. Rutherford model performed very well before the nuclear spin experiments were conducted. According to Rutherford's model, spin of nitrogen 14 should be half h cross. 20 out of total 21 nuclear particles that is 14 protons and 7 electrons pair up to cancel each other's spin with the remaining spin half of the last particle. In 1929, Rossetti measured the Raman spectrum of dinitrogen. Rossetti experimentally found spin of nitrogen 14 to be integer that is 1 h cross. James Chadwick discovered neutrons immediately after the discovery of neutrons in 1932. Heisenberg suggested that the nucleus contain protons and neutrons. The neutron spin half solved the problem of the spin of nitrogen 14. The last unpaired proton and the last unpaired neutron add up to the final total spin of 1 h cross which is in agreement with the Rossetti spectrum. The neutron discovery allowed the nuclear binding energy to be calculated by comparing the nuclear mass with that of the proton and the neutron masses that made it up. In 1935, Yukawa proposed a strong force theory for the nucleus and explained how the nucleons are held together inside the nucleus. According to Yukawa, the force among the nucleons is mediated by a virtual particle and this force prevents the nucleon to fly off. Later, the discovery of pi meson showed that it has all the properties of Yukawa particle. With Yukawa theory, the modern model of the atom was complete. The nucleus remains stable, kept together by strong forces unless until it is very large. If the nucleus is large, then it undergoes the phenomenon of radioactivity. Inside the nucleus, electromagnetic force due to the repulsion among the protons destabilizes the nucleus, whereas the strong forces that act between neutron and proton, 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 neutron, neutron, it stabilizes the nucleus. The unstable nuclei undergo nuclear decay, emitting the alpha particles, beta particles, gamma, and neutrinos are also emitted during the beta decay. 
the energy for the beta electron was found to be continuous contrary to the discrete energy that we observed in case of gamma and alpha decays this is the energy of the beta particles plotted here much weaker force called as weak interaction is responsible for the emission of beta rays proton gets converted into a neutron with the emission of positron and the neutrino this beta decay is also responsible for the formation of complex nuclei here nuclear force and the strong forces are represented in these diagrams uh, nuclear force binds the nucleus this force acts between the protons and protons protons and neutrons neutrons and neutrons whereas the strong force acts between the quarks through the exchange of gluons in order to learn more about the strong forces and the nuclear structure we make use of the beams of high energy particles which are collided with the target nuclei the recoiling particles including the daughter nucleus are detected and their directions and the energies are analyzed we also carry out the nuclear fission fusion which is basically splitting into a smaller nuclei or amalgamation into a larger one respectively with the release of energy that surpasses any chemical reaction particle physics is basically the study of fundamental and elementary particles which is one of the most important branches of the modern physics often known as high energy physics this discipline originated in 1930s scientists studied cosmic rays in first place initially but later on the high energy particle accelerators provided the bombarding particles for the research in the subatomic field quantum field theory is, is central to the high energy physics research fundamental particles may be classified into groups in several ways this is the classification based on the interactions the leptons are distinguished from the other particles called as hadrons by the fact that the leptons do not participate in strong interactions neutrinos have been considered massless for many years but more recently the experiments have shown that they have non zero masses whereas the hadrons are strongly interacting particles they are divided into baryons and mesons the baryons are class of fermions including the proton and neutron and other particles which in a decay always produce another baryon and ultimately a proton the mesons are bosons in addition to pions there are other zero spin particles four kaons and two eta mesons and a number of spin one hadrons including the three rho mesons these are the bosons and they are also known as field particles photon gluons w plus w minus and z0 bosons and higgs bosons this is the classification based on the statistics or spins fermions are the particles which obey fermi dirac statistics fermions have half integral spin while the bosons have integer spins electrons and the nucleons have half spin mesons and gauge bosons are all bosons baryons and mesons make hadrons hadron is super class of baryons and mesons quarks come in six flavors and have their own antiparticles quarks have charges that are either positive 2/3 or negative 1/3 of the electron charge for each pair this is shown here while the anti quark have the opposite charges each lepton has an anti particle positron is an anti particle of electron anti particle of neutrino is anti neutrino quarks participate in both the strong as well as weak interaction the strong interaction binds the quarks whereas the beta decay is caused by the weak force weak interaction baryons such as neutrons and protons are formed by combination quarks thus baryons have charges minus 1 0 and plus 1 mesons which are the particles that mediate the strong force inside the atomic nucleus are composed of one quark and one anti quark field quanta through which the quarks interact is known as gluon the photons are the quanta for the electromagnetic field electroweak interaction is mediated by the exchange of particles which are about 100 times as massive as protons these massive particles are w plus w minus and z not in case of strong force eight gluons bind the quarks to form baryon and also bind the quark to anti quarks to form mesons the force called as color force the quark come in three color 
colors red blue green color neutral objects such as protons are observed gluons and quarks colored objects are permanently confined all the known forces in nature can be traced to the fundamental four interactions that is gravitational electromagnetic strong and weak physicists are now exploring whether the four basic forces are in some way connected and have made great strides towards achieving the goal of understanding how forces can be combined the unification of forces is the idea that all the forces in nature are manifestation of one single unified force isaac newton in 17th century described the gravitational force that acts between all the objects having masses as a result it causes apples to fall from the trees and determine the orbits of the planets around the sun maxwell in 19th century demonstrated that electric and the magnetic forces are two different aspects of a single force called electromagnetic force sheldon glossow weinberg and abdus salam won the nobel prize in physics for unifying the electromagnetic and weak forces into electro weak force the physicists seek to find a so called grand unified theory which is aimed to merge the electro weak force with this strong force which is expected to be around 10 to the power 16 gev of energy the final piece of the puzzle is the unification of gravity with the strong and electro weak forces expected around 10 to the power 19 gev to develop the so called theory of everything a theoretical framework that could explain the entire universe discoveries in nuclear physics have led to many applications in different fields these include the medical industrial and agricultural radioisotope imaging and therapy nuclear medicine imaging identification of materials radiocarbon dating of materials for archaeological and geological fields power generation the cleanest sources fusion reaction and lastly weapons of mass destruction that's all about the introduction to the nuclear physics thank you